and I, uh, we're retired, uh, but we've raised two daughters. We've got seven grandchildren. And every time I go to the grocery store, I think, I don't know how you know, families are doing this because groceries are just getting very, very expensive. So I decided that I would do something. Not sure exactly what yet, but this is my starting video and we'll just kind of jump off and see where this takes us. So I wanted to um, show you what I did today. I went to Aldi's and by the way, that's my choice grocery store. And I spent $62.29. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I'll just kind of run through some of the things that I got first of all. They had Valentine pop-up Valentines for $1.99. Um, I have seven grandchildren, but one group is older. The oldest is 30, and the youngest is just turned 21. That's my older group. My younger group is 14 to 5. So I've got 4 and 3. So I, I just buy for the younger ones right now. The older ones are kind of past all this. But I saw these and I thought, gosh, those are really cute. I just wanted to show them to you real quick. And for $1.99, oh my goodness, I've paid as much as $7.99 for these things. I'm going to show you the one that I got. Um, I'm going to open this up and just show you how easy it is. It just comes in a, like a little flat. And... See. Yeah, this is it. Fold these over and fold this one down. Don't mess them up too much. But look at that. Aren't those just darling? For a dollar ninety-nine, my grandkids are gonna love this, and I'll probably put like a little gift card in it or something. Um, they love to go to little coffee shops and and pick up stuff. So I think I'll do that. But I picked up four separate ones. There's one. This one looked really cute. I don't know if you can see that or not, but these look really nice. I was really surprised, and I just grabbed them right up. But I wanted to show you that right up front. I'll show you some of my other groceries here. Bought some. These are raspberries. We love raspberries. Um, what did I pay for these? Two sixty nine. And I put these on our yogurt. We love that with a little granola granola on them. They're really good. Um, and there's my yogurt with the honey in it. Let's see. Some onions. And some chicken broth. And this is, let's see how much this weighs. Three pounds of chicken breast. That'll probably get us, okay, that's how many pounds? Three pounds. That'll get us three meals. So, uh, what was the price on that? Hmm. They were, okay, they were eight forty nine. So, if you have a larger family, I'm not sure how many this would serve. But if I were feeding a family of four. say at least a half a bag. I don't know how many pieces are in here. That'd be something that I can figure out pretty quick. But those are that's not a bad price on those. Um, I know a lot of saltines, so I picked up two boxes of those. And they're cheaper than anywhere else. Where what did I pay for these? They were $1.49 a, a box. That's really cheap. 
um, okay, and we'll pick up some rounds, crackers, and those were $2.49 a ba uh, box, and I'm actually going to make dill pickle saltines, and I'll put the recipe down below. Um, I just thought that looked really good, might be a good health no, me on a healthy snack. By the way, I am not a dietitian. I don't get into a lot of dietary um, restrictions and all that. I'm just trying to save a little money myself in shopping, in grocery shopping, and, and still have a good meal to put on the table. So I'll put this down at the bottom, let you know, I'll give you a review on it. Um, we love bacon, so I bought a pound of bacon. Yeah, and actually, this is a pound. I've been noticing that groceries are coming in smaller containers, like um, even wine. Yesterday, I noticed at Walmart the bottles look smaller, and I really need to check that out because it was the same price that I've been paying, but the bottle looked a, a lot smaller than the regular bottle that I've been buying. Um, always has a wonderful, wonderful selection on cheese. Um, got some Asiago Parmesan and some cheddar cheese with cranberry. But it's a white cheese that's good with um, some crackers and apples. Oh, good. And sometimes that's all we eat at night because it's the two of us. Most of the time, I try to fix a pretty decent meal. But lately, um, you know, what we've been doing uh, is eating like a late breakfast, and I'll fix a pretty good sized breakfast. Like this morning, we have had a couple pieces of toast. We had, uh, well, my husband had three eggs, and then a big slice of ham and a banana. So that'll last us till late this afternoon. So. So we're just doing two meals a day. With just the two of us, we can do that. With kids, I know you can't, but with us, just us two, you can. On the cheese thing, I want to show you this. Get my cheese out of here. And I am not a real sticker for health food. I would love to be able to go to one of the nice big grocery stores that sells only health food, vegetables, or, you know, health, organic vegetables and organic meats, and I, I just, everything within me just can't do that. Um, I was a single mom for seven years, and I think a lot of that has held over my entire life, so it's big, but I just make do. I just make do with what we have, and, you know, um, And we eat good. We're healthy. My husband and I, we're in our 70s, and we still are not on any kind of medication. We take supplements. Um, he works out. I don't. I am busy all day long, but I just don't worry about what we eat. I mean, we try to eat healthy, watch our carbs, especially our carbs. Um, but I just don't get into doing a lot of this stuff that everybody else is in. Um, one of the reasons I decided that I, getting healthy, uh, would do the block cheese and just grate it myself is because I became aware that um, grated cheese has added stuff to it. When you think it's just grated cheese, it's not. Uh, one of the uh, things that's in it is natomycin and if you look that up it's not so good for you it's n-a-t-a-m-y-c-i-n um, so I just decided this is probably going to be my last bag of cheese grated cheese and one other tip, and I'll probably have a video on this at some point, 
I go to the Amish stores. We're, there's several Amish stores in my area. And a lot of them have the same stuff, but a lot of them don't. Um, several of them have uh, damaged packages. Sometimes you can get a pretty good deal. But I go up there and buy, I think it's a five pound tube of cheddar cheese instead of buying your little bag. And I think it's three something a pound, or that's what it was the last time I bought it. I also bought, buy olive oil when I go up there. I use a lot of olive oil instead of buying it in a little can, a little bottle at the store. I, I buy it up there. Um, and it comes in a container about like this. Um, I don't know if I can find it real quick or not. No, it's behind, it's behind some stuff. Um, there's just several things that went, oh, spices. I buy spices up there because they are so much cheaper than what you buy at the store with for the little bitty uh, container. Um, but, and I love going up there. It's just a whole nother world. Uh, one of the places uh, that we go has, if you go up there, you will see horse-drawn carriages. You'll see little kids running around everywhere and they're so cute and so friendly. They'll just wave at you. And it's just kind of fun to go up there. And they are so friendly. You can talk to them and ask them questions. Uh, when COVID was going on, I asked them if they had been sick. And she said, you know, we haven't. She said, we haven't had much sickness up here at all, which was during the time I was there, it was kind of full blown, you know, in, in our world. So, um, anyway, I bought some tortilla chips. These are really good. These were like five something, I think. Uh, four twenty-nine, and that is for a one point eight ounce bag, one pound eight ounce bag. And I've had this bag probably for two months. I'm almost down to the bottom, so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one before they get more expensive. And that way I can just put them, I'll just put them to the side, but I always make sure that I've got these air tight. And I have a little snack in the afternoon with my salsa and my chips. And I really enjoy that. I feel like it's kind of a healthy snack. Maybe it's not, but I feel I feel like it is. And it makes me, it gives kind of rejuvenizes me. Re rejuvenate me. Um, all this has these bold and zesty uh, pretzels. So I put those up. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can find the price on those. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, a dollar ninety-nine, and that's for twelve ounces. I've tried these already. These are so good. You know, and when I go to all these, if I see somebody that has something in their cart that I haven't tried, I'll always ask them, what what do you think about that? Did you like that? And they'll say, either they'll say, yeah, it was great, or I haven't tried it yet myself. I did that around Christmas time. I don't know if you've been in there. But they had frozen, um, they were like, I, forget, I don't even know how to explain them. They had alcohol in them, but they were like frozen in a little tube with like lemonade in alcohol. And um, I knew somebody that would really enjoy those. And I, I bought them. But before I did, I saw somebody that had them in their cart. And I asked him, I said, have you tried those yet? And she said, no, I haven't. But they really look good. And I said, yes, they do. So I went back and got them. And I need to ask them if they, if they want them. And then I've got... Um, almonds. I got those, and those were five something. I did check the price on those before I bought them. Um, five seventy nine a pound. So, that's my haul. That doesn't seem like very much for $62.29, but it is, you know, that's where we're at today, and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I've got some ideas I want to share with you guys. Um, you know, like I said, I was a stay-at-home mom, I was a stay-at-home mom at one point, 
but I was a single mom working full time um, for seven years. I learned a few things. It was a very difficult time, but I learned a lot. And I have a daughter now that's a single mom. She be became a single mom over a year ago. She's learning a lot, but she's got she's got four children. I only had one, so there's a big difference. And I just started thinking. I just don't know how these families are doing this. So I've got some things I want to share with you guys, and I'm really looking forward to this. I think it'll be fun. Um, like I said, I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll give it a whirl. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.